Hello folks, this is Raghunandan Vardla. I am going to share with you a juicy topic about Germany and China. You must be wondering what is the difference between Germany and China. Germany is a democratic country, China is an autocratic country. Germany and China are far apart one in Europe, one in Asia. So what is the difference between these two countries? So here are my two cents. During World War I, Germany was humiliated. It had to pay reparations. There was Treaty of Versailles. In the Treaty of Versailles, Germany had to give up their overseas colonies. And they had to pay reparations to the countries which were affected by Germans' invasion at the time. And that humiliation grew bigger and bigger. And that humiliation led to the World War II. And again, Germany was humiliated. This is the case of Germany. What about China? China was also humiliated before World War II. The Britishers humiliated China, USSR humiliated China, Japan humiliated China. In fact, British took control of Hong Kong. There were a couple of opium wars at the time. And Japan took control of territory of China at the time. And Japanese killed, butchered to be precise, many Chinese at the time. They raped many Chinese women. So there is bitter history between China and Japan. And USSR also took control of some territory. So this is the case of China at the time. China was humiliated, so he did not want that to happen again. And if you look at the case of Germany at the time, Germany became a, became an economic powerhouse. So it built its military capabilities. It mobilized the people so that they can go on war. And finally, what was the result? The result was again humiliation of Germany. In the same way, China is also building its military. It has the biggest navy in the world right now. And it is building its militaries, military capabilities in a massive way. Recently, there was testing of hypersonic missile. They can hit any country. And those countries will not have any deterrence. So that is the strength of hypersonic missile. So now China is one of the biggest military powerhouses. And again comparing to Germany and China. Germany also had territorial disputes at the time. So Germany started World War II. Germany attacked Poland and Germany went on attacked Russia and many other countries at the time. It took control of France and it also attacked United Kingdom at the time. In the same way, there are many territorial and maritime disputes for China right now. There is intense tense situation between India and China border and the same with China and Taiwan right now. China is doing military drills so that it can take over Taiwan. Taiwan China considers as a breakaway province where it has legitimate right to take control of Taiwan. However, Taiwan is a democratic country. It has evolved as a successful country. It has its own economy. It has its own allies. 
and the allies being united states and other countries so this is the whole case of point that i want to say the arrogance of germany led to its humiliation again and right now the arrogance of china i'm afraid it might lead to world war 3 and at the time there was an alliance which was formed to take on germany and the alliance included ussr uk and many other countries at the time and they named the aggressors as axis of evils that included germany italy japan so these are the countries that were part of axis of evil and now also there are many ally groups are being formed many groups are being formed if you look at orcus orcus is formation of partnership between united kingdom united states and australia and if you look at quad quad is the formation of alliance between japan india united states and australia and i don't know where it will go but if china doesn't learn lessons from the history then the world will be loser and there will be more bloodbath than world war 2 now because the weapons of mass destruction that we have we did not have such powerful weapons when we had world war 2 i wish china learns its lessons and we all live in a progressive happy and beautiful world thank you so much